Okay, so I'm sure you're familiar with the 2010 screen set. Uh, what I'm showing you today is our extension to Mach 3, which up till now has only been available in the smart screens screen set. What this extension does is allow you to do things like control smart Wi-Fi relays from your CNC. You might say, well, what's a smart Wi-Fi relay? Well, this is. TP-Link makes a series of these smart home devices that you can use to control things in your home through Alexa and whatever, and you can buy these in a variety of places. And they come in a couple of different configurations, but this is the one I use most of the time. Anyway, we've written an interface that allows you to control these devices from your CNC. Now, say you have more than one CNC machine. You can have many devices connected on your network, and it can even be an isolated network. It can't could not have internet access. It could just be in your garage to keep, you know, uh, keep your machine isolated. But you can basically set what devices are control allowed. So when you're at that workstation, it will only let that CNC control the devices that you said are control allowed. Now you can do that either from the uh, user interface here, or I'll leave that on for a second, or you can do it through the G code. Well, how do you do that with a standard 2010 screen set? Well, let me show you. So I'm going to load the integration in between the standard 2010 screen set and the smart screens extension. Now you must own the 2010 screen set if you want to do this. You cannot do it from, you, well, you can operate the smart Wi-Fi relays from our screen set, but if you want to use the 2010 screen set, you must own it. So anyway, as a small change, there's three more buttons on the screen. Um, basically, you click on the smart Wi-Fi button and the dialog comes up and it shows you just the control allowed devices. And you can see that that device is still on. So and its nickname is P1001. So I'm going to go turn it off with an M code. I'm going to go in and say M490. P1001. So that device will turn off. And you see the indicator go off. So when I go back into the uh, interface, you'll see that that is off. So you can integrate these into your G code. You can turn your equipment on and off as you need it. Save yourself some electric and some wear and tear on all the machines. Even keep your shop a little quieter. Uh, you've also, if you got some, need some really fastly responding relays, if that's even a word, um, you can use the expansion relays, which is a network pluggable set of relays. Um, you just basically plug them in, you give them an IP address, and then you can control them from the user interface, or you can control them from the G code. I'm going to do that also here. So I'm going to go in and say uh, M451. That will turn on the fifth relay in the expansion relay set. Um, and you see there, it's on. I use this for things like my laser and some other things. And up until now, our automated, completely automated probing routine for the Triple Edge Finder has only been available in the smart screens screen set. But some people really love their screen set, like the 2010. So in this case, it's completely integrated. You can uh, go in and you can run the Triple Edge Finder right from here and get the same exact functionality that you get from uh, smart screens. Um, there's some settings that you'll need to uh, set up, just like, well, what parameters you're using, or using inches or millimeters, and where you put your Triple Edge Finder. Uh, what you want to happen when it's finished, and whether or not you've enabled expansion or smart Wi-Fi relays. So anyway, we'll go back to uh, go back to the Triple Edge Finder, and now I can I can run that. I'm not connected to a machine for this video, but you see that it did the first step. It checked that all these parameters are correct, and now I'm getting ready to check my connection, and then after that, move into position, and then. Click step three and it does the rest automatically. You can see a video on that uh, on our YouTube channel if you want. But uh, basically all from within the 2010, where everything else is pretty much the same, just three more buttons and uh, 
on the standard 2010 screen set. So I hope you like it.